Hey everybody, Jim Dvorak here, and I wanted to show you how to auto-duck a sound, a music file, an audio track behind your own recording using the free program called Audacity. So I've got Audacity going here, and I'm going to go to File and say New. You're not going to believe how easy this is to do. So I'll extend my screen a little bit. Now, the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and record the audio that I want to make for the main voice track. So I'm just going to very simply quick click on the record button here and record that track. Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Jim Dvorak and I'm introducing you today to a new tool called Audacity. And it's, this allows you to put music behind voice. Stop it like that. I know it's kind of a lousy recording, but it'll at least be good for the illustration, right? Let me test it. So let me hit rewind. Hi, everybody. My name is Dr. Jim Dvorak. And All right, so we got an audio track in there. Now, I've gone out to freemusicarchive.org, and I've downloaded some music as, a, as an MP3. And all I need to do is just drag that onto the Audacity project and it sticks it on the screen for me. You'll notice that it's much longer than my recording, uh, but that's okay uh, for the sake of illustration here. I'm going to reposition these a little bit because in order for the auto ducking to work, the track that goes in the background needs to be on um, the first track up there. So I'm going to grab this and drag it to the top. The other thing I'm going to do is just grab this track here and I'm going to slide this over to about where I want the auto ducking to begin in the music track. So in other words, it'll play this music track at full volume until it gets to uh, this track that I've just kind of dragged over here. Let me move it just a little bit. Actually, I think that'll be okay. So I'll leave that there. Now what I need to do is make sure that I've selected this first track, which is the music track. I'm going to go to the effects menu and hit auto duck. And what you see here is sort of a visualization of what the sound is going to do when uh, when it hits the point where your track is going to begin, the recording, the voice recording begins. And so it's going to, what this is just showing you is that it's going gonna, it's gonna to slightly go down about half, then it's going to drop down uh, by 12 decibels, and then when your track is over, it's going to ease its way back up uh, to where it was before it ducked. That's why they call it ducking, because it ducks down in the background and then comes back up uh, to the main uh, volume. I'm going to go with the the default here. You can actually adjust those if you'd like. You can you can change the fading fade down lengths and the fade back or fade up lengths if you'd like. I'm just going to go with the uh, the uh, defaults. So click OK. Now notice what it did on the sound wave here. You can see where it actually turned the volume down uh, on the music track. So let me hit rewind. Go all the way to the beginning and let's play this and see if you can tell the difference. Everybody, my name is Dr. Jim Dvorak, and I'm introducing you today to a new tool called Audacity. And it's, this allows you to put music behind voice. So you can see how that works. You'll notice that when I paused right here, when I quit speaking, since it was on auto duck, it actually raised the volume back up on the music track. So you can build in your pauses. So I suggest you write a script. Uh, kind of build in some pauses so you know about how long they're going to be so you can kind of get that music coming back up just a little bit at uh, decent intervals there wherever you'd like them and then uh, you can basically duck the music in automatically behind that with audacity now i'm going to be really honest with you when i made mine i used GarageBand to do it and it's a little bit more steppy um, this in audacity i have to say is a whole lot easier and you saw how fast we just did that and audacity is free so I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you have any questions, just uh, feel free to contact me and let me know.